exactly is the building envelope? Well, according to Webster's, the building envelope is the physical separator between the interior and the exterior environments of a building. It serves as the outer shell to help maintain the indoor environment and facilitate climate control. Good morning. I'm Nick Slevin, publisher and builder and developer of Green Home Builder Magazines and the developer of the ABC Green Home Project, the affordable, buildable, certified green home series that we're working with Habitat to construct in Orange County, California. I'm here this morning with some of our design team, Willis Britanna from Comanian Associates is our architect, John Morton from Console is our uh, energy consultant, and Sean Mullins from Owens Corning is our insulation partner. And we're going to talk a little bit this morning about the building envelope and how the building envelope absolutely assures a builder or a design team of achieving their goal of net zero. This, how does the architectural team approach z &E? One of the first things we, we address is the uh, challenge of the site and how it's sited, how it's oriented, and basically it's, it's context. Not only are we concerned about the uh, aesthetics, which is mostly what architects, you know, we assume we only care about, is that we really want to care about how the people live and should be comfortable and where they live. In order to accomplish these types of Z&E, we have to rely as a team on the expertise of, of companies like Console and John Morton. Talk us through how you get us to our goal. You always want to start with walls and your attics. Uh, you know, a homeowner over the course of the life of the home is going to end up changing out HVAC systems, the hot water systems, lighting. What they're not probably going to do, and what's very rare, is pull all their drywall off of the house and re-insulate to get the walls correctly. So getting walls and attics right the first time is extremely important. because That sets the tone of the efficiency for the home for the next hundred years or so. A great opportunity that we have today is to talk with Sean Mullins who works with Owens Corning is our insulation partner on the ABC Green Home Project. So I see you have in your hand some that's netting. So right. T tell us a little bit about how this works and, and how, how this is working in, in, in conjunction with your famous pink insulation material. So thank you, John. So this is a version of our high performance conditioned attic system netting. What this system allows us to do is using the proprietary design and flange on the netting allows us to secure this and hang this from the roof structure. Right. It actually attaches to the top part of the roof. Right. And then allows us to staple and join each bay of netting one to another, right. which create what we call it a box netting approach, where basically the netting is suspended. It allows us to fully insulate the truss bays themselves. Again, from a building science perspective, right. we're interested in stopping that thermal bridging in the attic assembly. This is our high performance conditioned attic system, but we look at high performance in a way that is friendly to production builders. This house is a great example right. of using a production mindset and demonstrating systems that are not attainable by any means to an average production builder. And on an affordable footprint with a builder partner like Habitat, demonstrating that it is in fact possible to build you know, energy efficient homes for entry level home buyers in the United States of America today, in Southern California no less. Gentlemen, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.